Divinely dandy non-difficult division is done. There it is. All right, so uh, what do you get when you pay for this book? Well, first off, it's printable, unlike the supremely simple subtraction that uh, you gotta, if you got it for free, you can't print it. But since you're buying this one, you can print this thing out uh, and go to town with your children. Um, divinely dandy non-difficult division starts off very simply. Here we have uh, just one in understanding the patterning for across and down. And then we move up very quickly to our old friend 18 and learn how to read this. Six is contained in 18 three times. Here is the pattern for it. Uh, here is a slightly different problem. It's the same thing, but three is contained in 18 six times. Notice how we're building with sixes here and we're building with threes here. And every time you see one of these, you get, notice how my uh, cursor changes. You can click on it and it'll take you to a YouTube video for more explanation. And then the hypertext will take you to web pages or blog pages. So it gives you a couple of games you can play and it tries to lay it out for you as clearly as possible. But you'll notice pretty much every page you can go to a video for further explanation. Uh, here is the Boy Scout story. Uh, and you'll see that I spent a little time on fractions, but fractions will have its own book, so I didn't spend too much time on what to do with the remainders and so on here. Um, but I did give you bigger stories, and then what if it doesn't work out evenly? So here you can see, well, you can only be seven across. Everything else has to go underneath. So the concept of division becomes very simple to understand, and they can see it and get their hands on it and build these or draw them, as the case may be. And then here's decimals, and of course went to algebra a little bit, how to do some uh, algebraic division. How many times is x plus 2 contained in x squared plus 3x plus 2? Well, x plus 1 times. Now it starts to make very, uh, make sense, and it's very clear to the students, very easy to understand. Uh, bigger problems, and do some evaluation and so on, so we can play around and have fun with math. But here's some bigger problems, where we start fooling around with uh, third power, and uh, thousands and so on. And then other problems where it uh, doesn't quite work out perfectly, so you can see what to do with remainders and so forth. And of course there's video for more explanation. And then here's using the rectangle to organize your thoughts. I was gonna put some trigonometry in here, but I decided to leave it out because if you can figure out 3x equals 18 or c equals pi d and how to arrange it in the rectangle to organize your thought, this is just to organize your thought. Where does, go, where, where does what go? Uh, well, then you can figure out sine 30 equals one half, and it should be very easy to organize your thought around this rectangle when it comes to trigonometry, too. But again, trigonometry will have its own book, so I left it out of here. And more on how to use the rectangle and what we get. And again, if we uh, understand that these are inverse functions, or factoring is just a part of uh, multiplication and division, then you will see that we ought to be teaching division earlier because it's where we get the most information. It's actually the easiest of the basic operations, especially if you understand that all you're doing is counting. Now you get two, two, two books in one because I also give you the in, uh, appendix here that has more explanation, not so, like here you get mostly pictures and so on and very few words, but in the appendix you actually get a lot more explanation. So you get to see how uh, to set it up and how to present problems and how to present uh, this to your students using manipulatives and the base 10 block methodology. Makes it very clear and should be very easy for you to see that we're just going to reshape in the rectangles and count because mathematics is the study of numbers and all we can do with numbers is count. But let's not get confused with the concept that somehow computation is mathematics because computation is how we do mathematics but it's not the mathematics and here is your table of contents so at the end you can see uh, all, all the various links to all the videos and so on uh, that you can peruse at your leisure for understanding more about division but it's all here in one book all your links all the information you need to begin making your children understand that division is easy, shouldn't be hard. I know many of you have heard from your students that they hate long division. Long division should be simple and fun. And here is a book that will show you how to make it so. All right, get yours. Hopefully you get it at a discounted price. If you're late, you'll get it for $20, $19.99.
and uh, it's, I think you can see more than worth it. Uh, get your copy today and head over to Crouton Ramon's House of Math for more.